How's it going guys? Welcome back to seven years from now. It's kind of weird playing this uh, right now since what's been uploaded I think is only up until chapter 15 so I'm, I'm starting to peel ahead and get a little bit further ahead of the upload schedule which I think is a good thing because I want people who have played the game to be able to like openly discuss in the comments and everything like that and I don't want them to feel like there's a risk of spoiling the game for me. I would still say be careful about what you say in the comments because there are people who are going to be watching these in order and having not played the game themselves. So please do be mindful of spoiler stuff. No one's no one's been bad about it so far. Everyone's been very, very cool about uh, not jumping the gun and, and not talking about serious plot points that haven't come up yet or anything. So thank you. Thank you guys. I appreciate that you have stayed true to that. We had just found out at the end of 22 that uh, Kodoma had the burn on their hand or the scar on their hand, whatever it was, that proves that they're the person who had burned down our house in that other timeline, which is totally weird that we're having to start thinking of like, you know, it makes this character seem like a villain, but maybe something happened in that timeline that was different, that gives them entirely different motivations, and, you know, maybe, maybe they aren't necessarily a villain or whatever. Lots to think through. Uh, Mr. Kodoma, do you happen to have matches with a black cat on them? Hmm? Black cat? Maybe it's something you just buy in the store here. Well, yeah, I do have something like that at home. But how do you know that? Just a hunch. Just a hunch. <laughs> anyway, I have to speak to Dr. Ajiki now. Can I go? You usually don't have to ask like the customer service person whether or not you have to go. You can you can probably just walk on through and it should be no big deal. Is maybe he is evil. Maybe he was planning something already. The coffee. <laughs> maybe he was like, I'm gonna burn down their house with those black cat matches. And then he walked in and was like, Did you have black cat matches? It might have caught him off guard. Dr. Achiki. Hey uh, how did it go yesterday? I have a favor. A favor, huh? What is it? Please, send me back to Monday again. What's the reason? What did the director say to you yesterday? If you won't speak to me, I can't help you. Yeah, I, I will tell you. The director. I told Dr. Achiki about what happened yesterday. I see. Is there anything you want me to ask him? No, not really. Really? No questions? I remembered. You never did say that Kakuru and Hanoka can be saved. I was the one who rushed to the wrong conclusions. You helped me, thus I found out the truth, that's all. But I kept quiet even though I knew your motives. Won't you say anything about that? Even if I did, nothing will change. Plus saying anything won't make it better if they don't remember. So I guess it's true that Kakuru and Hanoka won't get better. I was kind of hoping that you would say the director was lying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Then, why do you want to return back to Monday? I just want to go back to the first time. The first time? Yeah, just go back to how it was, without meeting the director or the manager, and just staying here until my break ends. Yeah, I, I mean, it would be nice to fill in Riku on some of the stuff that you've discovered over these many attempts and everything. He probably has some decisions lined up that, you know, you could pretty severely affect his future and his future decision-making processes. I originally came here because of the promise I made, but now he's no longer here. Kakaru and Hinoka's illnesses won't be cured. Everything was a lie, and I don't even know who's telling the truth anymore. The receptionist, Mr. Godoma, as well? He's with the hospital. You're telling me now? I guess it doesn't matter anymore. I did get a lot of my memories back from coming here, but there's nothing more I can do. So, you did get back some memories, but those aren't all of it. For example, you remembered giving me pictures, but you didn't remember taking them. Yeah. And what you do about your friends, are you just going to ignore them? That's... I'll... Tell Riku to call off his investigation, then I'll go and meet everyone. Even when my break ends, I'll try and come here to see them. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Easy to make promises like that, I suppose. 
I see. Fine then, Haruto. If this is what you wish for, thank you. I'll make sure to tell you about the time leap experiment when I return, so don't worry. You don't have to. You don't have to tell me about the experiment. But then, yes, everything would have been for no. But in exchange, I have one request. A request? Yes. I want you to learn about the director's past. Dr. Achiki, I won't do anything like that anymore. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't really trust the director or pen and paper. You won't lie then, right? I want you to read his diary. His diary? Yes. I want you to make your decision after reading that. Whether to quit all this and to walk away, if your feelings don't change, then do as you wish. But if they do change, please drop by here and tell me about everything. I'm betting my precious experiment on this. What do you say? Interesting gamble. So he's willing to believe that his time travel, time leaping stuff doesn't work, betting that we'll read the diary and change your mind. I feel like I basically just said the same exact thing that the game said, and not that much more succinctly. <laughs> Okay, this will be the last time. Where's his diary? Wouldn't it make more sense to try and retrieve the diary now? And if it goes poorly, go back in time? I mean, then it then it doesn't really, doesn't have the bet that a cheeky's laying on it or anything, but like, you know, could have some pretty heavy ramifications. It's in a safe in his room on the sixth floor of the medical ward. The code to the safe is 2140. The director's office is open in the morning, so you'll have to sneak in when he's not there during the day. When he's not there, I guess I could find a way. But is it okay for me to read it without permission? You've done worse at this point, I think. It's fine. I'll give you my permission. To read someone else's diary? Yeah, I don't think it checks out. But I'm not sure if that'll change my mind. It's okay, don't worry about it. Just make your decision after you've read it. All right then, let's get ready. Yes. Yeah. I feel like I often replace the yas with yeses, specifically for a cheeky, because the way he uses the yas never fits naturally. That one should have been a yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? I am. Do you remember the code to the safe? 2140? I do, it's 2140, right? Mm-hmm. Don't forget it. I won't. The 12th of April is my friend's birthday. Which friend? Because is that going to be like, that's why... Wait, the 12th or April? That's probably a typo. <laughs> now I'm forgetting what it was. 1240? Usually you would do that 1204, but which friend? Because maybe the director used that code as, for that reason as well. See, I'll push the button. Is it, uh, is it not working? Ah, that was just him waiting. Just him waiting it out. I, I thought maybe it was like an ah shit moment. It'll be fine. Ruto, I know how you are. This is the fifth time. After this, what's this? Is this the last one no matter what? Like whether it be a, uh, Haruto's choice or not? Potentially. Shaken awake again. Ugh. Are you okay? You seem a little out of it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? Do you know what day it is today? Uh, it's Monday, March 29th. Good. Sounds like you're fine. Do you have plans to go anywhere today after this? Dr. Achiki, I just remembered that I had plans, so I'll have to go. I'll see you. Okay. And now this guy is just sitting there being like, damn, thought the time leaking, thought, thought the time leap would have worked that time. And I was so sure. Gotta rush to the hospital and try and beat the director there. I made it in time. Oh yeah, I was curious. I was like, well, how do you know, how do you know he didn't get in extra early this day or whatever, but the whole paint thing sets that up. I gotcha. I have to swap the paint first. Swap it? To slow him down or something? Like, turn it black or something? Something that he would be less cool with getting spread on his shirt? Got it. 
Now, all I have to do is wait for the director to arrive. It should work. I'm so not following what your plan is right now. Wait a second. Did something just change? Oh no, that happens every time. That totally happens. Oh! I'm, I'm sorry, the paint got on your clothes. Oh, white paint. This'll stand out. I'll have to get changed in the changing room. I'm terribly sorry. It's an accident, so don't worry. Just be careful next time. Oh, so he's... He feels the need to change... Or, like... He's cool about it either way. He's nice about it either way. It's just that this time it stands out. Now's my chance. Excuse me, I'm just barrel straight past them there. Like, just... Draw as much attention to yourself as possible on your way through. How about... Just don't wait for any of the dust to settle. Start executing your plans instantaneously. Now I don't know how we're going to get past his receptionist or whatever, though. Oh! It's not on this floor. That's on a different floor. Well, that e easy, easy as can be, then. Apparently, he doesn't lock anything. Easy man to rob. I guess it does have a code. This is it. I'm sure it was 2140. Yes, you'd be correct. Yes, it opened. Wait. 2140. Oh, so it, it's, it's, um, April 12th backwards, then, I guess. This is diaries and a key card? I have to hurry and get out of here. Mm, I hope he doesn't get caught. Him being me. Ah, oh, someone's here. Damn it. Won't really get the chance to, like, read the diary and get the experience and find out what Dr. Achiki was betting on if we get caught. So try and be a little, be a little sneaky here, Ruto. Climb inside the safe, perhaps. I don't really know what he's going to do. Oh, did he remember to close the safe? Because that would get seen pretty damn easily. <sighs> that was close. Oh, did he just hit it? He just hit around the corner there? That was it? Wait, how am I supposed to return this diary? I'll worry about that later. I should go home and read it. I guess you can just camp out in that corner or something until the morning and then drop it off. Who knows? Oh, I, I think I should go say hi to Saki. She should be on the fourth floor, humming to herself at this time. I recall we just quickly promised to meet again tomorrow. If we're gonna make uh, if we're gonna make a promise, then we should be over quickly. Ah, super read that wrong. But I think he's just he's just hoping that this plays out similar to it did last time, uh, a very quick meet up and just like oh, I'll see you tomorrow instead, sort of thing. Just humming her little heart out. Shouldn't use a phrase like that in a game like this. Yeah, that's Saki, all right. I should just make the promise and head home to read the diary. I'll meet Riku and the others tomorrow, and then from this town, I'll... Anyway, let's focus on Saki for now. This scared the living hell out of her by sneaking up. Just like so. Wow, he scared me. <laughs> you didn't hear my humming? Gosh, it's so embarrassing. Or did you? Did you hear? Hey, are you Haruto? Uh, playing through all these scenes over and over again. I, I mean, it, it usually plays out slightly differently or whatever, but it's kind of it's kind of goofy me reading it out loud. I'm sure reading it in person, you're like, oh yeah, I remember this. Me, I feel compelled to read it out loud even though it's happened multiple times. Long time no see. What? Oh no, I have to get going. Sorry, Haruto, but can we meet again tomorrow? Yes, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted from all this. Great, I'll be waiting. Sure, yep. Everyone is, everyone's, it's a promise. It's super, I promise you that it's a promise and that I, I won't break it and that I won't, uh, I don't know, just decide I don't feel like it and then just go find a different timeline entirely or any, any shady things like that. Well, this is it. What could be in this diary? Hey. Oh. Well, hello there. What's wrong? For somebody's sake. But that was strange. What was with the blackout? What was that signifying? And I thought, like, did she find him because he stayed to read the diary? Or did, is this like a different timeline where all of a sudden, wait, did she see the diary and recognize no, but she doesn't know that's her... I don't know. There's a million... There's a million questions that I have right now. Man, if anyone decides they want to jump into this series here and see what's up, they just, like, oh, fire up this random video. They're going to be the most confused people possibly imaginable. Saki! 
Why? Don't you have to go? Well, I do have to go, but it's just that you kind of looked... Ah, uh, butterfly effect shit. He just looked hastier or like kind of... Or I guess since he learned now that there's like maybe no saving some of these people. Yeah, that's the sort of stuff this game should be doing. Is that like when you try to recreate these events, it doesn't work. Because if there was actually time travel, tiny minutiae things like that would affect things. I like that. I like that a lot. Did I look tired to you? No, it's not that. You looked... Like, you've given up or whatever? What's a good word for that? Like, defeated? Really stupid for a moment. <laughs> I wasn't making a face like that. I wonder. <laughs> Saki. Sorry, I, I was joking. No, no, I wasn't angry or anything. It's just, I'm glad that you're okay. What do you mean? Nothing. Just a thought. Hmm, if you say so. <laughs> Uncomfortable laughter. Phew. Anyway, what have you been up to, Haruto? Oh, well, I kind of had somewhere to be. I was adopted by my current parents seven years ago, but honestly, I'd kind of forgotten a lot of things. Kind of like memory loss. I forgot that we have to tell people that every single time. I would have forgotten. <laughs> like amnesia? Yeah. I only remembered the promise I made with Aoi at the old well. So that's why I came back during my spring vacation. I see. But I've remembered a lot since I came back to this hospital. I've remembered about you, Riku, Hinoka, and Kakaru. And Aoi. I found out about Aoi only after I came back here. I see, so that's why you look so sad. Hmm? I understand. For me, it was seven years ago, but for you... Yeah, it's pretty real, pretty deep, pretty fresh must be sad. Hey, what kind of promise did you make? Hmm? Aoi was talking about the promise so happily. You fulfilled that promise, right? Uh, actually... Hmm. Yeah, again, with Aoi. With Aoi. <sighs> At that place... You might want to use full sentences here. With Aoi. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Hiroto, for making you remember. What's wrong, Saki? What do you mean, Hiroto? Oh, my God, you guys are talking in circles here. You're crying. I am? Oh, I am. Hiroto. But that's strange. I knew about it already. <laughs> yeah. How he isn't here anymore. Even though we promised. I guess I can't see her anymore. Owie. Owie. I want to see you again. Owie. He just hasn't had a chance to process it, maybe because all the other times that anything like this has come up, it's been intermingled with other, like, major revelations and conspiracies and cover-ups and stuff. Are you feeling better? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you sure cried a lot. I did. It's okay. Seven years ago, I probably cried a hundred times more than you just did. <laughs> Makes me feel a little better. But that's off my chest now. I'm glad. Well, I'll get going, I guess. Hey, Saki, can I ask you something? Uh, if you lose another one of your friends, will it be so sad that you can't bear it? <laughs> I think I'd rather die than go through it. Yeah, of course. I, I, I'm sorry. But if I knew that there was something good out of it, I might be able to bear it. Something good? Well, while we go through sadness, there's also just as many happy experiences as well. So if someone dies and transplants their heart sort of thing, like someone has that major loss to give to someone else, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> Very openly and loudly, directly in front of you, without any context. Actually, I have something to ask you as well. Ruto, did your illness get better? Uh, yeah, I, I had surgery and I got better. See? That's one good thing, right? With a, with a bit of a trade-off. Then, say after you lose one of your friends. If you find the cure for their disease only afterwards, you still be happy? 
Of course. There'll be fewer people suffering from that disease in the future, right? That's great. You don't agree? These hypotheticals are being presented very strangely. I... You know what? I, I really gotta go. Before they scold me. Don't forget about our promise for tomorrow. I wonder what kind of weird headspace we just put her in. If she got down on our level there, we're just like tripping out trying to think through these things. Don't agree, huh? I... I should go home and read the diary. <laughs> I thought he was about to make a more poignant statement, and then it turns out he just, uh... He just realized he's kind of been putting this off a little bit. Hey, it teleported me closer to the house. Usually the game doesn't do that for you. You still have to put in the effort and walk it out all on your own. Phew. <laughs> I, it's so funny that the backgrounds are clearly so hard rendered. He, he's not going to pull out of his chair and sit in it or anything. So, this is the director's diary. There's some strange drawings and a name on the front cover. This is a girl's name. I should read it anyways. Oh, whose diary did we just pick up? Did he, did the director have Saki's diary? No, what is all this? The nurse, the doctor will be here in the afternoon, so please wait here. Okay. Wow, what interesting television. <laughs> I should sneak out of here to the vacant room. I don't know, man. I don't think you should sneak around hospitals. You might see some things you can't really unsee. Uh, nothing seems to be doable. And so I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. The, uh, going upstairs was not the right answer. Strange that it let me go upstairs when that wasn't the thing. Oh, so this is, this is the director here, right? Why does he have a part of his diary take part from this girl's perspective? Oh, because it's a, a girl's diary. It's her diary of... And it overlaps with meeting him. Whoa. Oh, you scared me. Uh, who are you? You scared me too. You should really tell me who you are before you ask about others. Oh, right. Uh, my name's Kana Fat T -T Fataz. You? Kana? Why are you here? I'm hiding my knitting here. I'm going to surprise the nurse. Hey, tell me your name. Hi, uh, I'm Ayeto Kikusui. Ayeto Kikusui. Are you staying at this hospital too? Yeah, I came here just recently. Hmm. Hey, hey, how old are you? Oh, well, how old are you? I'm nine years old. Oh, we're the same then. Oh, that's great. But it doesn't matter if we're the same age. This area is my place, so don't come here anymore. Hey, are you listening? <laughs> this is my knitting. It's great, right? I see... I mean, I wasn't talking about that. Why are you here again? I told you not to come yesterday. But I need to be here, or else I'll be find I'll, I'll be found out. So it, it's the story's happening in snippets here because it's probably how the diary entries were written. You mean the thing you're making? Yeah. <laughs> what are you making? A dog. Why are you making that? I'm gonna give it to the nurse. Why? To surprise her. What for? All you've been doing is asking questions. Is, is that bad? No, it's not. Hey, can I ask you something? Mm, I read to find out that this guy had some messed up childhood where he like lost his best friend or his girlfriend or whatever, and that's. I don't really know how that's gonna change Haruto's perspective, but. What? Do you have any friends? Huh? I don't have any friends my age either. Let's be friends. <laughs> I, I guess I can. Yay! Well, I'm your friend, so I can use this room, right? What? No, actually, we aren't friends. What? Shitty reason. What, what, what room is your own, man? Are you both just, like, squatting in this room? No, this is actually her room now, right? With the broken TV. Oh, hey. Oh, Aedo. It's the first time you visited my room. What's up? Aren't I allowed to be here? Of course you are. I was just surprised. Hey, are you still making that wool thing? You mean knitting? Yeah, that. Yep, 
I'm making something for a boy now. A boy? Ooh. Mm, not Edo. Mm, I forgot. <laughs> By the way, do you have enough thread? Uh, yeah, I have just enough. Oh, I got you some more. No, okay, he's asking for more. God, always taking. I can ask for some thread. Do you want me to get you some? Oh, I see. He's he's going to hook you up. Really? That would make me really happy. Happy? Yeah, happy. Ever heard of it? Okay. Then let's make bigger ones using those threads. Like a, like a lion. Lions are hard. Then a dragon? Sounds harder. Yeah. That. <laughs> hey, no, you suck at this. If you're not going to learn how to do it yourself, then don't make requests. Why are you hiding? Because the skies are looking for me. You mean the nurses? Yeah. But they're worried about you, right? They said they need to keep an eye on your sickness. Ah, they just treat me special since I'm the director's son. What? Your dad's the director of the hospital? Well, it's awesome. I've never met him, though. I don't see him much either. Oh, I know. You should surprise the nurses then. Surprise? Um, sounds like a plan. I, I shall get my revenge. No, no, not that kind of surprise. The good kind of surprise that makes them happy. What? Why would anyone consider such a ridiculous concept? Why should I make them happy? I don't get it. That's because... I don't know. But if you make someone happy, it makes you happy too, right? It doesn't. Wow, this kid's a real shithead. He was a monster right from when he was a tiny little boy. I know. I'm here to play. <laughs> oh. Wow, you're in a really bad mood. I am not. You have to stay in bed today again? That's right. I'm not allowed to leave at all. Let's see. <sighs> it's weird to try and sigh and teehee at the same time. Ta da! I've made a mini guitar just for you. Wow, that's so cool. Do you play guitar? Does it make sounds? Of course it does. But is it just kind of like, I don't have any fabric near me, but would it just be like hitting a piece of cloth? <laughs> like, hey, no, it's snowing. Wow, you don't look happy. I can't touch snow anyways. Ever? Is that part of whatever sickness you have? Do you have to stay in bed today as well? It's been like that for half a year now. Oh my freaking god, how did that happen? It's probably like this for the rest of my life. <sighs> Don't laugh at me. Ta-da! <laughs> I made a snowman just for you. Wow! Wow! Alright, I guess if you can't touch snow, you can touch your little claw snowman. That's cute. Where is it? Outside! Oh, she made a real snowman. You can see from the window. It's over there. Wow, awesome. That's the best thing to do for someone. Do something for yourself and at the end tell them it was for them. Then you're both happy. <laughs> Sorry, I actually saw you making it. Tell me earlier. Ruining the surprise. Jeez, what is all this back and forth here? Can I? Um, yeah? Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I caught a cold. I see. You're usually so full of energy. That's right. Next week is my 12th birthday, you know. Oh, wow, they've been here a while. You should be better by then. Oh, the diary. I'll I'll leave it here. Did you finish writing it? Kinda. Kinda, huh? Can I read it right now? Are they sharing a diary, or what's, what's the deal? Sure. <laughs> you didn't write anything. Oh, what a jerkwad. He's a dick. This guy's a dick. I have a question for you, Aedo. What's that? What present do you want for your 13th birthday? Hmm? Present? Yeah, I can't think of anything to surprise you. So I thought I should just ask. Anything is fine. Don't stress yourself. Hmm. And what are some things you don't want? Uh, things like soccer balls? You know, my heart's weak, so... I can't do any sports. He's got a weak heart too. Right. Then I'll get you a soccer ball. Hey, that's just bullying. You conniving little girl. 
How sinister of you. Edo, it's your 14th birthday present. Hey, they aged up a little. That's not my birthday yet. And isn't this our diary? Uh, they kept it together, okay. Yep, I tried putting some ideas in the diary. I see, thanks. These are message boards. They're all messages from me. I was thinking which messages you would like. I see, what does this one say? It says, happy birthday. Can you not read this one? It's, let's do our best every day. And this? I think it's, thank you for always for everything. It's not that, I screwed it up, that's fine. I can't read any of them. Oh man, is he like losing his sight or something as part of his sickness? Is this the hospital director? Just based only on the blue hair, I had nothing else to go off of. Kana. Hato. You seem kind of down. But your 15th birthday is coming up. Yeah. Well, what's wrong? My sickness. It's gotten worse. Well, you've been over energetic until now, so so you'll be fine. Just pat it back down to normal. It's you we're talking about. Kana? The doctors told me the name of the illness. But it's the same as my mother's. It's incurable. LMD. <laughs> just kidding. What a fucked up joke. You're just kidding. What's with the dimming lights there? Why are you not saying anything? I'm sorry, Edo. Hannah? I don't think I'll make it. It was, the, it was just like, hey, kidding. I'm just trying to lighten the mood, but really it's... She was telling the truth. Chapter 24, Their Shadow. So the funeral director was obviously also sick. And he had this friend who I'm guessing had LMD. And he has a weak heart similar to like Haruto had. This is kind of like a, analogous to that. Haruto and Aoi situation, I think. Kana. Oh, you're asleep. I'll leave the diary here. See you. I think he was whispering. <laughs> oh, she's got a mini fridge. Lucky. Could just be a dresser, but I hope it's a mini fridge. Kana? Asleep, huh? Can't we get the diary? I hope you wrote it. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, is he is he kind of leaving it for her to make her contributions, but she's just continuously unable? I hate him. Good morning. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, sorry. I, I tried to stay awake today, too, but... Hey, can I read the diary here? Yeah, sure. But yesterday's entry might be a bit dark. I'm always sleepy because of my illness. And I always see the same dream. I'm all alone in the wilderness, looking for friends in the never-ending darkness. <laughs> Way too dark. They're making diary entries about reading diary entries. Meta. What are you making? I just told you. It's paper crafts. I'm going to give it to the nurse for her birthday. How's it going to turn out? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Anyways, shouldn't you be focused on writing the diary? <sighs> you have to write more than ten lines this time. It's just... Your diary entry last month was too dark. I'm a bit traumatized. Hey, that was just a joke to scare you. I thought about what I can do even if I'm sleeping all the time. Besides, it ended with a happy ending, right? Kinda. I love happy endings. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong? I got the wrong designs for my paper craft. That's a bad ending. What were they going to be and what did they end up being? It's supposed to be Christmas trees and you made like Halloween cats or something? Hey, Are you okay? 
Yeah, I have rest here, so I'm a little out of breath. But recently I'm not sleepy, so I'm fine. Okay, sorry for not going to you today since I'm bedridden. Kind of having a bit of a tennis match here with this, aren't they? It will be awesome if we could just fly off to somewhere. Aedo, if you had wings, where would you like to fly to? I, I wonder. I'd like to see the sunrise from atop the clouds. Hmm. If I ever get wings, I'll take you up there then. How? Put my big muscles in my arms. Th 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 that's embarrassing. Just being like scooped up or like cradled or something wasn't wasn't too into that. Guess there's not a lot of like romantic anything going on here then. Or maybe that's exactly why it's embarrassing. I want to go to the beach. What's up? So suddenly? Hey, Aedo, have you been to the beach before? No, I haven't. I've been there once with my mother when I was very, very little. I hope I can go again. Well, when we're discharged from here, let's go together. Hmm? <laughs> I, I want to. That's good. Let's go to other places too then. First mountains and rivers and clothing stores, hairdressers, coffee shops, patisseries, and cake buffets. Watch the fireworks, wear a kimono, eat takiyaki, takiyaki, at the night markets, take Purikura pictures, and go to stylish furniture shops. Visit museums and art galleries, watch movies, and we can't drink alcohol yet, and, and then go overseas to see heritages and eat huge ice creams. Yeah. Wait, that's too much. <laughs> Gotta dream big, man. Thinking of the future. Hato? <sighs> Kinda. I'm okay. The stairs were just a bit tough. Should I go to you? No, it's okay. Anyway, what were you reading? Well, last time you said you wanted to fly a plane, right? So, I was looking up the licenses and skills needed. Oh. Apparently, you don't need to be a professional pilot to fly a small plane. You still need to learn. Aido, what do you want to be in the future? Probably a doctor. Because your dad is the director? Well, no, I want to become a doctor so I can cure your illness. Wow, it's so embarrassing. Why would it be? It makes me really happy. <laughs> well, I'll also become a doctor to cure your sickness. All right, that's a promise then. Yeah, promise. Are these kids still doing like their high school or junior high school educations or anything like that? I wonder how they approach something like that. Wait, what happened to the pilot dream? Oh, gave up on that one already. I heard that it might get demolished. This is Ward, you know, since a new one was built over there. Oh, I see. I'm gonna be sad if this place gets demolished I'll be sad too but all tangible things will eventually break like that mini guitar you gave me also broke right oh that's a bummer wait I mean I'm really sorry about that <laughs> not angry about that I've broken things too no like what I uh, see you've never broken anything oh long time ago I got my own space in the flower beds outside so I planted some flowers then they all disappeared very soon. That incident was a little depressing. The flowers disappeared? They covered the whole flower bed in concrete the day after I planted them. Ah, that sucks. That's way too depressing. Also not broken. Doesn't really seem like a broken thing. Pretty largely out of your control. <sighs> oh shit, uh, okay, it's maybe, maybe a bit more serious of a gasp. I thought it was another silly, just like, ah, how could it be? Ato, you don't look good. Yeah, it's uh, it's nothing. Are you sure? Um, I, I, I was told to move to the new medical ward over there. But but it's okay. I, I told them that I won't move unless you're also moved with me. Yeah, I, I want to stay with you too. I might not have much time left, but I want to be with you together, to the very end. What are you saying? We promised. We'll go to the beach, eat cake buffets, and become doctors together. 
Yeah, that's right. And we'll be together 10 years, 100 years, even a thousand years from now. <laughs> that's way too long. I'd get sick of your dumb, gross face, you big fucking jerk. <laughs> oh, I can do it. Whew. Okay. Has he been moved already? Hato. Yeah, he's already been moved. He didn't take you with him? That's a big bummer. I mean, I think we know he's still fine. Don't we? Hato? Chapter 25, alone. Man, how long are we going to be following these two around? I really thought it would be one chapter at most, or, like, kind of interesting. I think uh, an episode or two ago, I was thinking, like, if there's a limit to the amount of times that we can travel back in time, I'm curious when will be, like, the last time. And then, at that point, like, are we going to have 20 chapters, hours of this game playing out, specifically following this one set of days, knowing we can't reset? But maybe it's going to start filling in storylines with some of these aside sort of things, which I wasn't expecting at all. Curious. I think we'll probably get at least one more chapter from this perspective. Uh, I hope you guys are into it. It's a little bit different. Shakes things up. I like that. Kind of kind of gives you a break from the, the main story. It gives you a bit of a B story. So, cool. I'm into it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. <laughs>